How's you lot's hay fever anyway? Oh, I'm a real one. You don't get hay fever? Oh, fuff. Don't take it for granted. <laughs> Oi, nah, you know what? I tweeted yesterday that I found out you can get it at any time in it, so I've shown it respect. Yeah, there's people that are like in their late 30s yeah, and shit. I, I'm trying thing. to keep my karma clean because I do feel like 33, you're just, just going to... Yes, and I can't wait for it to happen. Brother, you get hay fever mad early as well, but I swear, like, you came in here with tissues in, like, March. You see where I'm coming from? And you know what makes it hard for me? We're at the time of COVID. I can't even blow my nose about looking around thinking... Yo, yeah, listen, exactly. You know, I'm, I might even just pretend I'm on the phone. Yeah, man, the hay fever's killing me. And there's no one there. Yeah, I yeah. just want everyone to feel safe. Right, right, right. Because right, the right. COVID thing is mad and they're just thinking I got hay fever. Hay fever is fuckery. Man. How's your eyes? Um, now, so I've rubbed them so much, yeah, you that look, now, look when I touch my eye, bro, <laughs> it fucking, it hurts, bro. You look sound terrible. But Jordy, you don't understand. Bro, See, sometimes, flowers yeah, are bad in man up. Bad in man up. They are the, they, I'm telling you, yeah, they are like, <laughs> along with the government, Flowers and the government are on the same thing, bro. That's like, super gangsterism. Hey, fever vaccine, you taking it? Never. Strong. One girl asked me, said, oh, Strong. You, one girl, <laughs> you're taking it? <laughs> no, I'm on it. <laughs> Chucky, I don't even take the tablets. What's wrong with me? Don't you? I don't do nothing. Uh, what? He's, he's, Vax me up. He's stubborn, man. You know so what? stubborn. You ain't, well, you ain't taking a one young... Nothing. I'm out here looking for natural things. They said to me, local honey, I realise there's nothing local to me to get Bro, honey. I tried the local honey thing. It's not working. Yeah, there's a man that like, lives my, by my yard who like does all the local honey and it tastes good, but it doesn't do shit. Doesn't Serious. Brother, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think nothing works. I'll be honest. I think that. Yeah, I'll be, I think, I that. think it's all a dream. <laughs> I think they're selling all dreams. Nothing works. And even then, every year I've been hearing about this fucking um, injection that you can have for hay fever. It don't exist. I don't think it exists. How come? How is everyone telling me about this thing that you can take and no one's got it? No one's done it. And these times everyone's suffering. So, so and everyone's suffering. So it's hay fever, your eyes itch up. Your eyes itch up. Do you know how bad it is sometimes? You come outside and you see the light licking your eye. It just feels funny. Yeah. You're like puffy, is it? your block nose. You want to sneeze. You yeah, want to sneeze. Yeah, the block nose is horrible. And also, yeah, the eyes are watering, yeah? Mm-mm. And so for me as well, see like when my hay fever is like proper strong, <laughs> yeah. if I'm like having eye contact with someone, my eyes water. Do you know how nuts that is? You started crying at things that you don't even care about. Yeah. England win 1-0 and I'm crying. These yeah. times I don't care about the team. I got a girl asking me, can you buy me flowers? I had to tell her, November. I can't get it now. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I'm dressed in pink. Just this is good enough. I look like a rose, baby. It's horrible, bro. Nah, man. God Honestly. God forbid, I never want that. Nah, Luckily, though, I only have it for like a few weeks. I don't have it like usually the whole summer and that. I just have it like bad for like a few weeks or whatnot. What's it like driving? Like, it's just the same. It's just the same. Like it's just like if you're that. driving and the hay fever's in, and this is, you're rubbing your eyes, you're flipping your nose is <laughs> blocked and all of that type of shit. I don't like putting eye drops in my eye. By the way, I don't. I don't even think I can do that. I've is never it? squeezed nothing in my nose either. I ain't done that shit. All I've yeah. ever done is taken a tablet and tried honey. So why and don't it, you try the other things? The nasal spray things? is good, you know. The, the the nose and the eyes. I heard that the nasal spray thing is like the crap though, because like basically. <laughs> if you start doing it, you then you become on dependent on it. Yeah, I was dependent it? on it, so I stopped. Serious? Yeah, because it does. Add, it does clear your nose. It did. Well, it cleared my nose anyway. Yeah. But five minutes. Do you snore louder when you got when you got thing? Hey, you are. Yeah. I don't snore at all, you know. Don't you? No. How do you know? Chucky, he's just killed me. <laughs> <laughs> he's no, just you don't. Do not. To be fair, sometimes if you're a snorer, you wake up snoring. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Well, you're awake and snoring. Oh, no, so you wake up. You've gone through. Pro- What's yeah, going on? Or you're snoring, you wakes yourself up. I've heard about that. You snore yourself awake. That. Is it? Yeah. yeah I've now I've woke. I've woken up mid snore. <laughs> nah, snoring yourself awake is brazy. That's Brother, I've woke up mid snore. <laughs> <laughs> Has that happened to you? Yeah, yeah. I think it has, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I think I know what you're talking about. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it happened to one girl. I said, I'm never coming back. But I don't know that I don't. I don't know that I don't snore. Uh, All right, okay. I snore. I do snore. Yes, I snore. How is it like from no, a scale of zero to ten? How mad is your snoring? No, you can just hear that I can't breathe properly. Okay, so it's, you can just hear yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. not really snoring then. Now, snoring, it kind of yeah. is snoring, but it's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's like low. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's low on a thing. Like a one point five. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now sometimes I don't snore all the time, but sometimes I get the snoring in a couple times. You know, you got to do to get rid of the snore. <laughs> I bought What's some that? today. Have you ever been with a girl that snores heavy? Yeah. No. Yep. No. No. Huh? No. Haven't you? No. Have you, Callum? No, never. No. Have you? I've yes. been the one snoring heavy. Is it, yeah? Yeah. No. One t- what is that? So, Obus what you got? Oil. This is Obus oil. What you got to do with this thing, yeah? 
Oh, skin, skin. Get in. So what you gotta do with this thing, yeah, is I've got one wow. something I bought from Body Body Shop. Yeah. And you put a candle underneath. Mm. You pour some water on in the basin that it provides on the top. You right. put some of the almost oil inside there, and you leave it in your room. Look like a half an hour before you go sleep. And when you walk in, you can just breathe better. Man. It smells good. I'll have to get some of them. I might even do a demo today to show people how to Strong. work the Obus oil. Look at them, them. Watch out for the them, them. I ain't trying to... Oh, capsule. Skits. Oh, baby. Skits, have you ever been with a girl that snores? Yeah. Heavy. Yeah. Is it? Just hold her nose until she... Excuse me? You? You've done that? Yeah, because I need to sleep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah. Hey, he's out now. My G's. Oh, Can I have one? Oh, man. Of course, come on. Sweet. Do you know one thing you got to do with... But level three for you, Chucky. Level three. Oh, ready. The shorts are being made for you right now. Ready. Yeah, both flavours. Ready. Both flavours. Yeah, that's it. And I'll definitely need the shorts of those. Come to this one, yeah? Yeah. I'll say one more last day. Oh, cool. Are you joining in? Are you, there's not a next us, camera. No, no, I just came to... Can you sit? Can you, can you sit I just there, came or to or promote my thing and Jordy's thing. SMH. Oh, right, come next week, innit? Okay, come so next week. Thank you, um, everyone. Come do you know on one thing you might have to do? Chucky, when you have a you, it's the worst. Skitch, you're going to find out soon. When you hear them snoring and they can't sleep, you have to suck the snot out of Oh, their nose. I've seen mums do that. I've done it to Have my you pockets. done that as well? Yeah. Fucking Clean. Hell. They it's couldn't sleep. I was really like, hard. oh, I could see them struggling. It hurt yeah, me. It's like. Suck the snore out. <laughs> and then it tastes <laughs> disgusting. It's, well, I, I don't get none. I can't. The maddest thing is. But if I, I got certain. <laughs> if um, a girl that snores heavy. If a girl that snores, I kind of think is cute to a degree. But if a girl that snores heavy. There's I don't know. It's mad. But then I'm like, how can I. I can't say nothing because when I get my snoring in, exactly, I get to cracking. Are you a snorers? Like I can't, like if I if I've been drinking, if I'm if I've been drinking, I'm a I get it cracking. Really? That's why I prefer to not drink with. A I think that's now. quite normal. I think a lot of people get that when they drink. Is it? Yeah. I think so. Oh, yeah. I get it smoking. Serious. Smoking. Mm. And you know, I wake up with a dry mouth regular, <laughs> and I've woken up enough times with my mouth wide open. Drooling. <laughs> Do you mean to be honest with you though? Everything's a context thing to me. Like, if I heard Maya Jama snoring, I wouldn't give a damn. The girl's crazy. If I heard Speck snoring, no problem. But you know what some girls look, they look like they, they, their shit smells of strawberries. <laughs> if I hear you snoring, it's just, you're just ruining the dream for me a little bit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mm. The man them that try and maintain themselves and look sharp and always criss up, criss up. You can't snore, man. No, you can, can only snore if you're rough and ready. I don't know, man. I'd have, have to go for it and find out. You're rough and ready though. All right, come. Oh, let's come let's let's ready. shoot through some quick ones then quickly. It's flipping. Is there isn't a pause here as well. So what? You're That's rough a and what? ready. That's calling me rough and ready. Come. On. Well, you don't you don't have hay fever and you don't snore. Well, I don't know that I snore. I might, maybe I snore. I must snore. Oh, then you're. Th if you don't know that you snore and you haven't been told it, have you ever been in a relationship with someone for a long period of time? <laughs> <laughs> you'll know. You'll know then. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. He yeah, doesn't yeah, snore yeah. then. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. But it's like it's not every night. It's like. Oh, no, Five on months a, in a while. On a Thursday, oh, you snored last night. Oh, is it? Yeah. If if someone says to you, "Oh, you snored last night," that means you snored heavy. Is it? Yeah, because if if you didn't snore heavy, they wouldn't say nothing. Yeah, yeah, if it was light, you wouldn't. But can't they just thing. be surprised? Like, oh, I've never heard him snore before. It could True, be that. could be that. True, can't call it. Can you Are you a proper snorers? I'm not a proper snorers. If I'm tired, like done out, like can't even move, mad, then I'm. Yeah. But then I'm, I get surprised as well. Like I go. You wake up and, and I wake small. up and I'm yeah, just like, yeah. did I just... Man, I like dogs, bro. No, nah, because it's, it's <laughs> Thank meant to be. You. Yeah, man. <laughs> Dribbling from your mouth. Bro. Snoring. You know when you feel yourself going into that deep sleep and then you just catch yourself because you don't realise that you've like been taken like that. Yeah. That's what happens to me. Like, I just fall asleep and then the snoring comes and I just wake up from it and I'm just like, bro, I just get Can I like up that? the place, though? In, in this oh, my oh, God. Can I yeah. up the place? Yeah. Yeah. No one wants to say it. No one wants to talk about it. I've had that. I've had that. I've oh, had that. No, let's talk you know. about it. Big, but, but you know what? The reason why I let them fart, like, because, yeah, girls yeah, fart heavy. You know, you know what my what? logic no is? No one does talk about that. <laughs> my logic is, ah, uh, she's been holding it in all <laughs> day. All day. <laughs> all day. <laughs> why not go to the bathroom? But you know what, though? Do you know why baby. I always don't see them type of farts here, why they can just get a, you know what I mean? They can a get a squeeze. Yeah, because those farts, usually, in my experience here, have always just been like, they, they just like, but just small bursts of air that are not dangerous. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not just like, the, it's just the sound more than anything. No, it's but not it's not sound. like, I, it hasn't like- It's, it's true though. Yeah, it? it's just like the fart sound. Yeah, it's yeah, dangerous yeah. when it's like the fart with the 
Yeah, yeah, that's the same one. Yeah, yeah, that's the same one. Galvar up the play. Yeah, no, when you got the exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've been with a girl for time, though, there is another version that's annoying. So sometimes, when I've been with a girl, she's laying down in summertime, so we've got the sheet. So she's laying big back off, cool. On the laptop, might be doing my thing. Not only do I hear it, I but I see the ripple in the sheet. I've got an issue with that. <laughs> ripple? <laughs> I've got an issue That's with that. Big ripple. It's not a big fart because we're wearing thin sheet, yeah, naked yeah. bum. It's between the cheeks. What? That's it. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not on that. Nah, I've, you know, I, man, I find if you're my girl, then it's like, I'm, I'm so cool with it still. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, I find yeah, it I'm funny. So cool I find it funny. Yeah. I mean, no, it, no, it, it, it might make me squeeze her tighter still. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, babe, you, just, you just farted. That's cute. I know you was holding that in. And you don't even realise that I know that you did it. Mm. And you know what? Maybe you've done that and then you've realised that you've done it and then you're hoping that I was asleep. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, like, you, you know, know like they've done something and they open yeah. their eyes in that now, yeah, thinking, shit, is he asleep? No, babe, I'm awake, babe. Yeah. But you know what? For the culture, I'm going to pretend I'll like I didn't it. hear it. I'm, I'm going to pretend, yeah, pretend like I didn't know what the fuck happened. What? Enough times I've done that. No, nah, man, I think long term. I don't. I wanted to clear this road ahead. If we're going to be together forever, <laughs> you have to find an alternative way to fart. Well, it's all cute now, but when I'm 50 years old, you just pff, like, fuck off with that, man. Do you fart around gal? No, nah, I don't really fart around anyone. Around Do you your shit around gal? I swear we done that. Oh, around your yeah, plenty girl. of I don't fart. I don't shit fart anywhere. This is what's weird. I don't fart, but I You're shit anywhere. Yeah, that's, that's You're doing it the isn't. wrong way around. No, because with I farting, I can go elsewhere. There's only one place to shit. I don't know, unless you went to your brother's house, he's spitting his shit in the same place. But there's, many, there's plenty of places to fart. Go outside. I hear the logic. Blend in with the fucking construction. Everyone's doing construction I'm nowadays. I'm on my but back. you can only shit one place. I'm gonna go and fight. Did um did did any of you not watch the Logan Paul and Floyd fight? Hell no. I'm not watching no, no celebrity Floyd's fight. Good. Why? Because no. Because celebrity death match was better. <laughs> that's for that fact. That's facts. <laughs> I'm not watching no celebrity fight, man. Especially when there can't be an official winner. What's the fucking point? Oh, that yeah. is absolute outrageousness. What is the fucking point? I'm not watching it. I'm not watching it. I didn't watch it. Actually, or no, spending I watched money on it. I, I wouldn't spend money. Imagine, even imagine stay, spending money up. on that. Stay yes. Up. Fuck what? no. Allow it, man. What? Yeah, until five I'm o'clock in the morning. Bro, yeah, I wake up in the morning and see the knockout on the timeline. I'm with Jordy. Yeah, there was no knockout. Yeah, there wasn't. There wasn't no knockout or anything like that. Still, man got punched and tight falling. Man grabbed him. Yeah, it's like perfect. It's a madness. Like. I personally can't watch those type of things either, really. I watch like highlights and stuff like that. I get, I definitely, for me personally, I understand why Floyd did it. It's a I hell of a lot of money. It, I understand it. It's a I'm hell of a lot of money. Um, Not like I, he hasn't got a lot, but hey. Huh? I mean, he's got quite a bit, but. Well, th this is, I mean, that's the next thing. Because I did think about this year. To me, mm. you know, like there's that always the conversation about legacy, there's always a conversation about clout, yeah? Actually, fuck all of that before I even say any of this, yeah? Pushing your personal feelings aside, because I know what your personal feelings will be, yeah? Mm -hmm. But just talk, if you can possibly, yeah, on, on a possible general consensus in what you may think on this. I like yeah? this. I, like, I think I know where you're going. Go, go. Do you think or do you feel that clout now to a lot of people mm -hmm. has more currency than legacy? Yes. But it's to a lot of ignorant people. So oh. if you're ignorant to the culture, you look at the highest examples of it and you try and replicate what they've done. Mm. But you don't know how, so you just see numbers. Mm. So you do anything that that person does in order to get numbers, mm. which I makes me call you a hoe. That's just me. Mm. You're a hoe. You're just twerking for numbers. Like that's whole behavior. Mm. If you care about the art, You'll worry about the foundation and grow to the point where you are in the same conversation as that guy. You won't try, if that guy's been there for 10 years, you're gonna try and do one year's work to be in that same conversation. Mm. You gotta do a lot of twerking. If that's what you're on, <laughs> cool, you're gonna make your money, but eventually, as the girls that twerk in real life, the batty gets soggy. Then you have to go buy a new batty. Your knees now you look like an idiot. So I'm just saying, if you do it natural and just grow, bide your time, eventually you're over there getting them numbers you don't know how, it's just over a course of time. And most importantly, you will see the people copying you. You'll laugh, you'll look cute. Mm. It looks cute. You're never gonna be the guy like that. Twerking, you're never gonna be what the guy. What are you guy. saying, Jordan? Uh, what was the question again, clout? Yeah, like clout, is the currency of clout worth more than right now, legacy? No. It feels, yeah, right now it feels like Bitcoin and that clout mm. is up there. And legacy's a bit, 
People want people want clout more. That's why man man got the the short term, the short term relevancy thing. They don't they don't stick around for them. Exactly, exactly. It's just upsetting because there's in our culture there's not enough people. Yeah. There's more people on the other side. So when they're interested in our culture, they can sometimes dictate the direction it goes in because there's more people and it's going to get more clout. So you're going to end up making more money in the immediate present. Mm. But that's still twerking. You're a whole fam. It goes to every rapper doing it, every YouTuber doing it, all of you. Yeah, yeah. And if you're hurt by the statement, I'm 100% talking to you. So, so, was, um, so was Floyd twerking? 100%. 100 million percent. And do you know what the thing is though? Do you know he what? The, do you know what the thing twerking. is? Do you know what I may say? It might be. Tell me if I'm wrong when I say this. Yeah, where it might be a tad different mm. is I re I relate what Floyd is doing to something that um, Paul. I heard Paul Gascoigne talk about one time. Yeah, in mm. an interview, and um, this always stuck with me. This was something I saw maybe like five years ago, five six years ago. Yeah, mm. and they were talking to him about like just his time in football and whatnot. Mm. And he was crying and he was saying that like, all he wants, yeah, is just that feeling of one just going outside and like running on the pitch and everyone just saying his name, yeah. Class, yeah. And that is like a, something that he had become addicted to, which probably meant, which co probably contributed to the alcoholism and, you know, mm. maybe the drug taking and all these type of things because it's that feeling of, you know, that being the guy. And I think when I see Floyd, yeah, I don't personally think that it's a money thing. I just think that Floyd is addicted to that. You know the show, have you ever watched any of the show times? Like before the fights and that? No. Yeah, so like, I think he was the one who started that shit. Where they do the documentaries before the fights and shit where you see them training and it's like narrated by the guy with the voice and whatever. And you and see the lifestyle all and all of that stuff, yeah. Like Floyd is, infatuated with the with people talking about him and being the guy and being number one and all of these things to the point where i think that as good of a boxer as he is you Great know what i mean anyone like all the people that i respect always tell me that he's number he's number one mm. that's what a lot of people that i respect so i'm not i'm not gonna sit in say i'm a boxing purist i can't i'm not gonna do all of that yeah but i think it got to the point where it was like you know what this o meant so much to him being undefeated that it was like okay cool now i'm at a stage where i can sort of almost cherry pick some of the fights and i can make my career last long enough so that people can still talk about me mm. now it's over now and or you're at a stage now where you're gonna have to start fighting some of the younger dons you know what you can retire because you're a billionaire you don't need you don't need the money and you know what he's right he wants his faculties how much boxers come out of sport and their heads mash up or they got all yeah, types of that. things or whatever yeah, but, but you know when you're at home if you don't if you don't have that real full piece within here and you're in a big mansion mass you can't even walk around the whole thing it takes you a couple of days to do that you've got a whole bunch of gal around you that probably don't really you don't really forget whether they love you you don't even really love them like that mm. you've got a couple of your brethren and you i could see how he would feel like i just want to be the guy again which to i say is when athletes and that come from being number one or you're not even an athlete, but you're a personality who like thrives off that type of stuff. As soon as you retire, the, probably one of the main things that you need to invest in is some type of counselor. Someone that is gonna be able to help you process your thoughts and maybe rationalize things in a certain type of way. Otherwise, you know what? You are gonna keep clouting your way into a mad position. Do you, you think that's just for sport or everything? Or I think it's everything. I think, I think it's if everything. Yeah, you know? If you're a showman, yeah. when you're, if you're a showman and the show's done, this is a hard adjustment. The lights turn off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The lights turn off. So it's a hard adjustment. You were the guy and then now the lights turn off. And then what happens then? And it's not even like I can do anything about him. I can't keep up with these young duns. Yeah. Anyway. But, then it, but that's what I'm trying to say to you. It's like, that means you're twerking. Definitely. Like the equivalent is how, and this is not respect to these women. If this is what you want to do, go about your business. But when they get their lips done, their ass done, all of this stuff done, is to compete and maintain with it. It's a lot of the 100%. older women that do it. To try and keep up with the younger dons. 100%. But the younger dons are young. Can't keep up with them, dog. You have to figure out how you do your thing with your age and flex her. And you also as well, it. bro, do you know what? Also as well, for some of them, is to keep the lights on longer. Mm -hmm. So it's like, again, even with like what you were saying about the lips and the bum and all of these type of things, yeah? yeah. They may not necessarily be famous, 
but their light is m- some type of attention or some type of thing that they that they hold as value that they want to last longer. So you try to do it externally. You try to uh, bring in external factors to you know fuel this light, and it's a danger. You don't. You can't beat it. Mm. You can't yeah. beat it. You can't beat it. It's mad. You know when you think about like Floyd, yeah, fought a guy who has not even won a fight. That's mad. mad. And you know what I was thinking to myself, yeah, yeah, fifty million is a lot of money, Mm -hmm. especially to a man like me. But you know what, bro? I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm like I haven't, you know, that I'm the the most holy of the now. But let me tell you something, bro. There's been times where I've turned down money that's been real good money, you know. But you know what? It just didn't feel right for me to do that. I remember one time, someone was gonna pay me to take part in a, I'm a music man. Someone was gonna pay me to take part in a clash. Now bearing in mind, I got some dub plates in my thing that I haven't even been able to play yet that I wanna lick somebody's head top off with <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> you know that, I still haven't been able to flex with them yet, mm. but I might, you don't even, like, you're not even really about, like, am I really gonna do for that? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's nice, the money's good, isn't it? Yeah, but like, how does it look really? And how do I feel about that? So for me, I'm like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I could do that. For Floyd to be in a position where he's got damn near billions of pounds, yeah, um, or dollars or whatever, yeah, and be a super rich guy, but still say, you know what, like, I'm gonna go and take this 50 mil to fight this. It's not just about the money. This is about clout. This is about people just saying your name and whatnot. One thing I would probably respect more though, is if Floyd turned around and said, even then this is debatable still, and I know you could challenge this, but if Floyd turned around and said, you know what, yeah, I'm good, but this is an opportunity for me to get 50 mil and I can just, I'll just break this down and just give this to the man then. Fuck it, I'll do that. High income, high outcome, man. If he said that, then I would probably hear it even more. You know, for, I'm not even doing it for the money. I tell you what, the trainer, you can take this for that. You, you know what, fuck it, you take 10 minutes. I'm, well, over, I'm overpaying did, man, did, I'm overpaying man for this. He did do that though. I'm sure, I'm sorry. I'm, he, like, he busted I'm down, he gave his, they, his team cars and that, because that's how they speak, that's their language, cars. He gave the team cars and all that. I read that in a couple of reports. Don't, oh, man, listen man. It down. It's all nice, man. I just think, you know what, try and find, try and train yourself to find different ways of making money with a bit of respect. You don't have to just copy what everyone else is doing and twerk. It's jarring, fam. Leave it to Cardi B and them, girl. They twerk well. Yeah, for real. City we're girls, they twerk well. It's hard, man. We're in a fast-paced world. We're not. We're not. No, we are. No, we're not. No, we are. I'm telling you, we're why, not. Why, why would you say we're not? Because everything is down to the pace in which you set. Mm. I'm not fast-paced, dog. I take a very long time to do my shit, and I'm calm. The lights are on every month. I look at my fucking pink overalls. I'm fucking. And he's not lit. wearing any briefs underneath. Them. No so briefs, him, like nothing. Today, and his socks are inside out. And my socks are inside out. Like I'm having a good time. Certain men that are rushing, <laughs> I can't lie to you. After I've done this from channel you up until now, and I've been taking my time doing my thing, I've seen certain man rush. And guess what? Q Terminator. They're not around anymore. Mm. So I'm just saying, take your time. You're gonna die at seventy. What is the rush? What rush? I know. I agree with you. But the thing is, if you get into the rat race, that's a race. That's not life. That's mm. a race. It's right here. And if you want to get involved, 100%. But people in the rat race will tell you it's life. But you can come out of it. So when you come out of it, where are you? That's life, big man. <laughs> I agree with you. I, I, definitely, I definitely take my time. That man know that. But... <laughs> no, no, no. You're Shake my head. head. Now... Like you could easily get, because my language is probably wrong, but you can easily get sucked into looking around and thinking, fuck. Yes, hell, yeah. Shit is happening fast. A new artist this day, new artist tomorrow. This guy dropped to one tune, his first ever tune on the SoundCloud, but it blew up, got 50 mil. He's over there now with Pharrell and such and such. But like, yeah, but look how much like, people... It's, it's and then you might think, not me, yeah. not you lot here, but mm. someone can think, bro, I need to try something. I need to try something that sounds like that. I need to try something that looks like what this guy's just blown up. And, and that's why I Or I need to do something like this mm. so that people can see that I'm doing that. So and do you know why they all think like that though? Because whatever they're doing is not natural to them. Mm. When it's natural to you and you know what you're doing, you're in your community, you're in your culture, you're taking a path that you've seen people in your culture take. But now when culture's commercialised, an industry shows you a quick way of doing it. It's fast food. I eat good, you know. Organic food is what I eat. And I wear pink overalls and I've got nothing underneath. I take my time. Mm. Nipples out. I take my time. Strong. Strong. 
Legacy will always be a thing. Oh, but nice clout thing. is like clout right now. It's loud. It is super, super, super loud. And there's so many different dynamics to it. Mm. One, as I was saying, with the lights being the, the light thing, that feeling like you need to um, feed that. I think that's maybe talking from a perspective of, I don't know, it just depends on where you're at in your career, innit? You might just feel like you need to do stuff to stay relevant or to whatever it may be. But then also it's like coming in the game there's a lot of people that are like their their ambition you see like how your ambition might have been to do this or you wanted to work in this creative field or whatever it is yeah you, their ambition stems from just clout though so it's like you Hold know on. what i want to just be that girl or that guy and that this is the industry that i want to do it in or this is the field that i want to do it in mm. and i am prepared whether I, I'm conscious of this or not, this mm. could be just a subconscious thought, I am prepared to do pretty much anything it takes in order to get to that. Have if it means I've got to leak DMs, if it means I've got oh. to fucking, if, you know, if I've got to take a picture of someone sleeping, oh. if it means I've got to fucking talk about a relationship that I, uh, with someone who's popular, because we see that a lot, where you see in Gala or man, whoever, if on I've the internet podcast, talking about, Huh? If I got to make a podcast. podcast, yeah, yeah, they're talking about oh, you know what? <laughs> they're name dropping the people that they're sleeping with and all this type of shit, and you know this person didn't buy me this, and I bought this for that person, and all this type of shit. Like it's not, bro, it's nuts. But you know, what? have you ever almost been drawn up in the last year, let's say? What in what in into some just something on cloudy. the internet? So, yeah, something cloudy, like just taking part in something cloudy. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Do you know what? There was. I remember there was. Because enough times, yeah, when there's been a few times where, like, I have I can start seeing some traction towards, you know, it's never usually from something that I've said, mm. but sometimes it's something that someone might have taken a certain type of way. And then they might go on their thing and then start broadcasting well, their feelings towards how... And so when I start seeing that and people tagging me and or whatnot, I don't even respond to it. Or I might respond to that person and say, like, I see what you're doing, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I hope everything's all good, man. Like, sick, man. Just look after yourself and that. Boom, blessed, bro. And then put like a little rose. I'll just do that. But I'm not like, I won't be doing the, nah, man, let me respond to this one. Fuck this, you fucking I don't think that's damn. clout, though. Oh, you're right, actually. It's not clout. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm talking about it from a different perspective. Yeah. Nick, what, have I, I ever listen, done? Like, what, my example is, I, I've not been drawn in, but like, when there's a new challenge, Rap challenge. Oh, yeah, my boys, okay. My boy right. sent me, yo, Jordy, lemon pepper. That's not clout. Where's yours? That's not clout. That's not clout. Well, clout is subjective then. No, it's not. Because if you're me taking part in that, I feel is like, it's only, I'm only taking part because it's popping. Is there good clout or right. bad clout? Pause then? right, pause, yeah, now, yeah, pause right yeah. now, pause right now. What you're saying is a translation of what, who? Let me tell you something. Man have been jumping on the same rhythm since Grime. Man have been jumping on the same rhythm since Bashman. Man have been jumping on the same rhythm. Just because our world is popular now, that doesn't make you clouty for doing something that was there from the start. That doesn't make sense. See, the things that are not there from the start and have been added by the industry, that's all clout. Right. But the things that come from the foundation, what it is, don't you understand? If this is not popular no more, man, I'm still jumping all on the same rhythm. Yeah. Well, maybe clout so is how is, then, because I it's feel not. like it's jumping on something because it's hot. No, 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 but you're not doing it. That is I don't clouty think, though, is but, it? No, because something you like it. I don't think you'll jump on it because it's hot, because I've given you things that are hot and you're like, I'm not on it. But I reckon you might have liked that. And if you like it and you do it and you're from the culture, what one? So it's about intention. That's what Bro, I was going to say. It's about Look intention. Look at this. this. This is what to me clout is. It's about intention. Yeah, this intention. is clout. It has to be. This is what clout gives you. Show that. I don't like this, that this video is going around, man. Oh, okay. So you... But I only say that to say this. Let them have their fun, man. Of course Basically, let them have their fun. But let me give you the translation. Me, um, these youths that's dancing to uh, Body. Body. Body, come on. Like they a, look like they're like a, like a weird dubstep oh, version. Like weird dubstep version. This oh, is it's a dubstep version. It's a weird, yeah, there's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mix. So That wasn't the real life, fi sorry to interrupt you, Pat, no. but that wasn't, the, the proper footage was them dancing to the proper song, man. No, it wasn't. No, wasn't it? It was that, no, yeah. No, it was, it was a dubstep version. version. Was it? Mm-hmm. Okay, go on, anyway. Bro, I'm saying this, man, because I don't want people like Jordy to get it misconstrued and think he's doing the wrong thing. He's not, bro. He's not, you're not an intruder. Well, You've no, been here if from if day I, one. If, if you're I an like, intruder... If I liked it, I would have hopped on it anyway. Cool, that's fair enough then. But I think intruders misinterpret what's going on. And because there's more intruders than people here, they just confuse the narrative. Now, don't confuse the narrative. It's cool over here. We're calm, fam. It's really, really calm here. If you want to become popular in this country, those are the people you've got to talk to. 
Now, if you've got more of them supporting you than your own people, don't worry, I'll see you in four years' time. Yeah, I'll see you in four years' time. Would you time. not say, though, that you could still, like, you could still be, you could Stop. still be in-house and clout? Pardon? Yeah. Like, you could still be in-house and clout, though. Do you not think I'm going to say it again because you're trying to, I understand, it's a, it's a podcast, we have to make conversation. You see WizKid, when he goes mad, it's because Nigeria is supporting the brother and then everyone comes in. That can't be clout because you're giving your culture to your culture. What I'm saying to you is if I give my culture to a stranger and it becomes popular, why do I want that? If that happens off the back of me doing what I'm doing naturally, fantastic. But the moment you get into a conversation of an industry showing you what's popular and you must do this in order to appeal to them, I have no problem with them. But it's on my terms. I'm here. You're here. You Tottenham High Road, you're there. You don't have to tell me about the new rapper coming up. It's probably my brethren's cousins, little or whatever. Like, we're here. So if you're not here, how can you tell me the rules? I'm here by default. So I'm going to know, same way you're going to know, same way Chucky, you're going to know, what's happening four years before it happens. Hmm. You trying to tell me you didn't know about Gets way before he comes commercial? Well, we didn't know about Kano and then you can take a look at today and take a look at some big artists and see Central C in a video with Flipping Western how many years ago? Yeah. Because they're here. But... So when it becomes popular, it's to people that are not here. You're not in London. There's more people not in London than in London. Isn't London like 7 million and the rest of England like 50 something million? Mm -hmm. so, so if there's more people out of London that don't know the culture than the people in London. That means you have to find the compromise. I've got no problem with that. But I'm saying if you do your thing for a long period of time, you build a fan base on who you are. That's culture. If you compromise, like I said, Bollywood don't compromise you now. <laughs> Russian films don't compromise you now. No, but I understand what you're saying, compromise. but I, I understand what you're saying, but like, it does sound like you're, you, like you're, you're speaking from one dynamic, yeah? Which I, I get, you, Yeah. but like, I still think that like, there's people that, there's. I feel like there's so many different versions of clouted now. Yeah, that's what I think as well. Like, think about what Jordy just said about the lemon pepper freestyle thing. Mm. He said that he wouldn't do it, but imagine if he was just like, he's seen all these rappers doing it. He's just like, you know, it's mad popular right now. I don't really fuck with it like that, but you know what? If I do it, I might bang a couple of views. Let me just do it. That's a version of clout in a sense. Because you naturally, wanted, but, but you wouldn't want to do it. But here it is. Here's what I'm trying to say to you. Yeah. This is what, this is what I'm saying. I'm it's not like saying that that's like a, a bad, bad thing. thing. Like, because he's in the culture, he can do it. But I'm saying right. that Caleb, like, it's, a, Caleb, it's still... there was no clout. That's what I'm trying to say to you. You see at the start, that happened. I know what you and mean. A man would have saying. the beat. That's lit. That's lit. He's done a version. He's done a version. I, I, I and we would that. jump on it. But what I'm saying to you is happening today is that it's given to somebody else who encourages everyone. Like the beat, Mission Rhythm. Do you know how many Mission Rhythms there was back in the day, D-Dark Mission Rhythms? And I reckon I wanted to do it because I heard D-Dark's one. There's nothing wrong with that, I've heard D-Dark's one. Do you know the problem? When you're not hearing D-Dark's one, when you're hearing a bag of people that don't understand what's going on, making versions of it, all sounding like a Reborn Drake, this is no longer what's going on. Mission Rhythm, no one sound the same. No one sound the same. So why do I want to jump in it? Because I want to show my originality. What's happening today is there's heightened examples of success and everyone copies that. My nigga, that is clout. You're not yourself. You're being a version of what you consider to be successful so people can go, you're good. That is a howler. And uh, Napa has got a mission rhythm sounding like nobody. That wouldn't have been because of clout. He gave his own interpretation of it. Go and listen to all the lemon. You just said that, but I'm just like, people can jump on the thing and be like, you know what? I want to put my own spin. I want people to hear me on it because it's different when I jump on it. But I'm, you're, say, you're giving me the you know, idea. I've, just I've listen to the lemon pepper freestyles. Do you know what though? Listen to them and I've, let's see a, a young Tef or something or a Geordie if you want to do it because they all right. sound the same. Maybe the music, maybe this music one is probably not the best example Sample. of it. Because I I get I understand like I, I I'm with you, mm -hmm. but I understand what he's saying from like a cultural aspect. No, like that's just what it's we've, horrible what we've done and whatnot. But I, I think that there's like ultimately I do think it just stems to like you intention. Yes, true. It just it just stems to intention. So it's like whatever it is that you're doing, you can do cer certain things or whatever it may be, yeah, and it not seem be seen as clout because your intentions are. Like for example, if you go, let's just go to the music one very quickly. Mm. Consciously or subconsciously, he, you, he's grown up in a, at a time in our culture where that's just what we do. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if he decides to do that, that's cool because that's just what we do anyway. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? But if he turned around one day and said, for example, you know what, yeah? Music thing, 
It's a bit of a techie one still. I'm going to back my top off. I'm going Love Island. Because <laughs> now you're talking to the people you want to speak to. Mm. That's, a shot, that's a shot, you know. Then it's like, yo. <laughs> then it's like, all right, here we clout. So now, oh, but wait. <laughs> but wait <laughs> you're going to try it. If, he, if, the, if the intentions were, so for me, even with Love Island, for example, it's not mm. an attack on them. But let's just say that then. when Love Island first started, the intentions was, you know what? This is an interesting way of potentially finding some type of love or companionship. Mm. Let me give it a go. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? You've gone in there, you've like given it a shot because you thought that maybe it might be the vibe or whatnot. Um. It might have worked out, or it might not have worked out, but you've come out and you're a star now. Mm. So like, all right, cool. I didn't, wasn't going in there so much for that, but mm-hmm. I'll take it because yeah. it's bad. So this, you get what I'm saying? It's like, you, mm. um, what do you call it? Black brand deals and all these type of things, money and whatnot. But I went in with the atten- intentions of this is what I was trying to do. Mm-hmm. Now though, fast forward in where we're at now, we see what can happen from it. You got a collaboration with the, Hardy the Caprio. Love, I hear you. Huh? You got, you got a collaboration with Hardy Caprio. I hear right, exactly. Mm. So, <laughs> exactly. So it's like, now the love part with Love Island, ironically, is the last part. Yeah. That's the last thing you think of. <laughs> you, the love is the last bit. Now like, you don't think of love right, with cool. Love Island. You think of, I'm going in there to try and get as far as I possibly can, mm-hmm. So that everyone can say that I'm the exactly. Dennis, I'm saying, which is clout. Caleb, I do not go to India, look at Bollywood films, and try to interpret and become a Bollywood star in one year. I wouldn't do it. They've got their <laughs> thing. They're private about their thing. You mm. can't go over there and do their thing. And there's so many other cultures. I can't just run up in a Jewish mm. culture and immerse myself in it. Wiley said one thing. He can't even be on Twitter no more. But you see, black culture, my brother, <laughs> man, are in here. Like it's everybody's. They will tell you, no, rap is for all of us. This is mad. I'm not saying it's not for everyone, but you must respect where it started. You have to respect the artistic journey where it started from. Because what's happening is, I could want to jump on a beat, not understanding the principles, and some next year will jump on it. But he will call it the same thing because he doesn't understand the principles. I understand it, I know what I'm doing. He understands it, he knows what he's doing. You understand it, you know what you're doing. You lot can't be the same as somebody that doesn't understand it. That just doesn't make sense. Me mm. and you are never doing it for the same reasons. I am part of it by default. Mummy's broke, we're in the hood. There's bare rappers around me. Mm. Emerging footballers, couple criminals, loons, there's man here. It's not my fault, I didn't have a choice. Mm. So now because of that, I'm able to do certain things naturally. Jordy's really good at rapping. If Jordy was born in another area, I'm not around the people. Look at the people he's got around him. All these cousins into music. His brethren's into music. The same, which by default, I nigga, we're in the hood. That's a journey. Before he picks up the mic, he's taking a journey. Now when he holds the mic, he's got something to say. Them niggas are not taking no journeys, my brother. Not a part of no culture. They just see the top end of it. They see the cherry and they say, we want the cherry. I want Cherry V. Shake my head out right now. Come on now. To, yeah, honorable shout out to Cherry V but, still. Hey, uh, you know, cherry B. B, cherry B, sorry, I'm sorry. Cherry B, you know. <laughs> when you say Cherry B, it's Cherry B. Yeah, it's Cherry. What's we made it? We got a little mistake. We're here busting the thing. We're trying no, to help no, you. No, there's an artist called Cherry B. I love oh, you. No, he was no, no, I'm Jordy not talking about Jordy. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> they bring up someone else. Oh shit! Shout out to Cherry B. I bring up Cherry V though. Yeah, but we're bringing up Jordy here. It's can't, Jordy Day. National you out now. It's National Jordy Day in my eyes. Yeah, you know what intentions in it, but you know I think that like in certain cultures or industries or whatever. Yeah, there's a level of respect that things should be shown, but that ain't the case anymore. You know, like, uh, having a conversation with someone who, like, wants to, wanted to be a DJ or wanted to, like, I think they wanted to be a presenter and that, yeah. And they, their advice, they were like, oh, you know, what can I, I want to be a DJ, like, what can, and I, I, always, tell, I always say to people, you know what, yeah, yeah. start doing it because you love it. Like, when you start loving it, like, try to love it, mm. and then, you can start like moving, maneuvering around or whatever. That's the, where I come from. Mm-hmm. I understand that that doesn't work mm-hmm. for a lot of people, but for me, when people ask me about like my come up and that, the, it usually starts from a certain type of love that I had for something. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. Now people don't necessarily want to hear that. That's not that's not necessarily great advice because there isn't a. If you want to play music, a lot of people that do play music, they don't play music because they love playing music. They play music because it's you could potentially be a celebrity from playing music. So you could stand there and you can be the one that everyone sits and says, oh yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? And now that's why you got in like the house music um, scene, for example, 
or not even just house music and that yeah sometimes you see these like people standing behind decks and that yeah and they're all just doing the same thing just and it just really annoys me sometimes because <laughs> i always see them they, they all do this this is what they do and they'll play a song and then they stand there and they go <laughs> <laughs> yeah the finger point mm. what to elia more than i love it more than yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Nah, man, not to every genre. Then you're doing it to Powell. Then you're oh, doing it to Jordy. Man. Yeah, oh, man. it's a howler, man. Yeah, it's, it's a man. howler. Because when something gets polarised and popular anyway, you have to accept it. Yeah, yeah, for real. Get right. us back to the estates, man. Take all the money away from the niggas. Let's but, just um, go back to where we love it. But yeah, nah, clout, okay. is, clout is worth a lot now. I'll tell mm-hmm. you that now. It's worth a lot. And you can get a lot of money from it, depending on what it is that you're doing. But, you know what I mean? Twerk if you want to twerk, you know? Twerk. Money, man. Twerk. Hmm? Right, knows what I'm on. Jason Derulo. <laughs> oh, are, you, are you TikToking? I give him a verse. You give him a verse. You should TikTok. You should be a TikTok. No, rapper. leave him. No, leave him. Be a TikTok rap. Leave rapper. my job. I don't know how to use TikTok. I can't do it. Because they're like, fam, they told me, yeah, man, it's time to make a TikTok rap. Right, cool. I'll make it. Bro, I can't do it. I never thought I'd get to an age where my little sister showed me how to use that app. Yeah, no, yeah, we're there now. That's mad. Yeah, 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 you yeah, must have thought you'd never true. grow up, big man. You know? Yeah, but I thought I'd always be keeping, I thought I'd always be in tune. I remember looking at my pups, looking at him, thinking, you don't even play games. You Look at you. You're a waste, I man. How can you not play games? <laughs> You're a I'm waste, I'm always going to play games. Idiot. I don't play games, man. Man, don't play <laughs> Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> don't play games, bro. Man, don't play games no more. <laughs> These times I still play games. I can't play games, man. I feel guilty. I'm all right, personally, I'm personally all right with like just staying in my lane and doing my thing. And whatever happens from that happens from Yeah, me. that's what I'm at now. I can't do everything, bro. That's what I'm at now. You know yeah. what? Like, even with the TikTok thing, I'm like, if there's a way that we can do the TikTok where I don't have to be taking off my pants and acting like a fucking idiot, Facts. then we'll figure it out. Facts. Do you get what I'm saying? But like, I can't. Sometimes I'd rather just watch people doing that shit. Do you get what I'm saying? Like you're good at it. I, not you, but I'm just saying that person's good at it. I'll watch you lot do that. I, and then that's, I can't. I can't keep up with one. fucking everything. Huh? All, your, all your antics. You can have a TikTok, man. Yeah, but then it's like, do you know why I don't have a TikTok? Why? When I go into my app, when I go into my phone, I got Instagram. I got one place that you I have promote. a TikTok. I don't have a TikTok. Imagine me having to go into Instagram, then TikTok. I stopped at Snapchat. I said, mm. this is too mad. Yeah, it's a lot. There's so much places for me to go to give information to people for free. Yeah, it's a lot. For what? Yeah, you know what? TikTok but it's too much effort TikTok for. TikTok is massive, though. It is. It's a, it's a massive. It's a monster. It's a massive. It's a monster. Like, it's bro, really, really popular. There's, like, song, there's, a, oh, bro, there's a song that was just flying. Um, Draco, Soldier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, she make you know for years I did for ye- for not years, but for like six months I didn't know that was Soldier Boy. Oh, isn't it? Not, it just went on Twitter. Um, I saw his Twitter. I got retweeted onto my timeline. Video out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See it there. What? See, if you was on Instagram like me with Soldier Boy, you would have seen. What you follow him? Of course, cool. I've been following yeah, Soldier yeah. Boy from the beginning. You follow him too? No, I don't follow him still. Follow him from the. But you know, you're in the best position yeah, where you like say as an artist yeah, mm. that you have something that just pops off and it pops off in a world that you may not necessarily. You're not aware of, but it's like, you know what? It's it's like people are listening to the music or they're reacting and they're dancing or whatnot. You didn't do it for it; it just so happened to connect. Bro. That way, it's like there's a fulfillment in that because you went into the booth with the intentions of I just want to make a sick song. You didn't go into the booth with the intentions of let me just try to get people to dance and do this and that or whatnot. Because if you do that, then you're gonna constantly be trying to do that all of the time, and that's where pressure happens on yourself. You start putting unreasonable pressure on yourself. Bro, I dropped a thirteen skateboarders are just compilations with it I how is it that's sick i bro. can't skateboard for shit. Yeah. <laughs> skateboarders are they're, they're gone vans, when it, when it connects it connects vans everywhere when certain things it. connect they just connect bro that's um, it and that's nice they got the skateboarders man i'll buy you one i'll buy you up um callum's a skateboarder shake my head out right now um all right lastly boom is football coming home or now it's coming home <laughs> <laughs> he's saying it <laughs> It's not coming home. It's coming home, I believe. Why is it why is it coming home, do you think? Because um because all the games I'm seeing are like one nils and two ones. The only convincing win. I didn't put no football bets on actually. Me neither. Just because of that. Me neither. But the only convincing win I saw was Belgium. I think I think England can beat Belgium. Um you know, listen, we win this group, we face a group of deaf team, yeah? We beat that team, it's coming home. Beat who? 
whichever group of death team that comes across. Oh. We, we beat them as coming home, man, I, I believe. What are you saying, bro? Don't listen to this guy, man. This nation ain't proud to be English, so they ain't winning shit. You what, sorry? This nation, they don't even know the national anthem, fam. They don't <laughs> even know anything. You see the Italians, I've watched the first game. The Italian man sung it like his mama told him to sing it when he was five. And it's just in him. Oh, yeah, yeah, the English man. Do, they, do the English players know the national they're anthem? No, no, no. They're younger now, man. It's this ass. Don't give but brother, Poland's got a point, now. So, you, see you know what? When you watch... Uh, this, I know this is not a footballing team. Put the ball but when the you floor. look at... <laughs> when you watch... This, uh, that's funny still. <laughs> when you watch, yeah, the man them that are representing their country in that, yo, their mouth wide open, veins in the head and the neck, yeah. and they're singing it out, yeah. chest out, and they're just... Proud of where they're that, you know, Chucky, they're grabbing like, their brethren, singing it with him. <laughs> Maybe they just have cool better like songs this. than us. Yeah, huh? Maybe the national anthem's just better. Bruv, there's not... Nah, man, it's oh, that the proud. best national anthem is the Jamaican one, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not even saying that as a biased one. They're one you are. definitely the best. What? But, you to stop a man from... <laughs> <laughs> but, like... That man, they don't know the national anthem. I'm dead, dead, bruv. There's 19-year-olds and 22-year-olds, bro. Does Sterling know the national anthem? No. He's, he's a yard man still anyway. Yeah. He's a yard man playing for England. So you know what, what about Foden? Foden don't know it. He's 21 or something. These men are young boys, man. Allow them to not know it. Just go. I kick, don't know go, if go they don't know it. Ball. I'm not talking about Foden. Go kick that ball. Why Foden's why, from why? Manchester. He <laughs> might know it, big man. Ain't nothing going on in Manchester. Now it's lit. All right, look, like you know, no, it's fine. But they the, might know. the man Rashford them, know it. The man Rashford them, knows it. You think Rashford knows? Rashford, Rashford don't know. Rashford, Rashford don't know, know the national anthem. Rashford yeah, don't know. Rashford, Rashford knows all the hey, verses. You have, think so? Yes, MBE. You're not allowed to have an MBE and not know it. Yeah. Yes, you are. Because Sterling's got an MBE. Well, Sterling knows it. And Wiley had an MBE. Should we carry on? Or Wiley whatever he had? Wiley's, Wiley's, Wiley's gone. gone. Yeah, the CB. I'm glad. Wiley's gone. gone. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> 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 no, honestly, fam, I know it hurts, but yeah. It don't hurt. You're okay. just wrong. Look at your right leg. Trembling. Bad vibes. I'm just an honest man. You know, oh, I'll be honest man. with you. I don't know whether it's coming. If home it comes or... home, he's ensured it with me. Strong, of course yes. I am. I, listen, I love the players in the England team. You know, yeah. I don't be upset with me. Do you know what happened in the World Cup? <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened in the World Cup, Chucky? I'm in the World Cup in Russia. This is me, boy. And I, it would be nice for England to win, but I see them losing two one. Oh my kids! Yeah. They lost 2-1 and, and they, everyone blame me. Yeah, I have great. nothing to do with the game. I just watched Trippier score a free kick and I think I watched Manjuki or Perisic score the winner. It's got nothing to do with me. Blame Kyle Walker, not this Kyle. Strong. So what the people have to accept is these men don't care about England like that. They just don't. If you they had 11 John Terry's, they care about winning. They're winning the World Cup. You, you, we hope. They, care about they, winning. they honestly, they don't passionate like the Italians are passionate or they're not passionate like some other nations. I've seen some other nations, they're so passionate, bro. And even when I've watched football for as long as I've watched it up until now, the major competitions are usually won by a passionate nation um, or just a extreme talent. Maybe England you know, have I've never won it since I've been here. Portugal, I've got take. Portugal drew their way to the Euros. Did you, Portuguese people? Portugal drew Have you not seen the, the Portuguese dons? A man that used to play for Swansea scored the winner. That's past you, big man. Dead man believed. Well, England. Win. They didn't all right, win. Cool. <laughs> I, I, yeah, Portugal. <laughs> they didn't win. They won twenty sixteen. They drew their way all. But the they way won the final it. one now. Bro, that's I what hear I mean. you. But the points Passion dead. Where? Um, you see, you see, points dead. It's nasty. You see, um, England. How much, what, what they want since you've been alive? Man. What they want since you've been alive? Let on what? Me. Come on. I got a take. Yeah. Is England not in terms of like the fans? Yeah. But like the like players on the pitch. Yeah. yeah. As good as they are. And we're not talking about ability here, yeah? Mm. Are they like the least passionate about their country than everyone else in the world? Like, where would you say, how many countries are there in the world? How many countries? Forget all the countries in the world. Let's say, let's say the top, I don't know, 50. Where would England rank in that? In terms of... In terms of what? The passion. way England win this like passion for the country. They need mayonnaise, well, Chucky. Patriotism. Got, everyone, pa- patriotism, yeah, that's it. Everyone, everyone's from another country in that team. Well, but are people, like, are the players patriotic? Are any of them? Do you, like, okay, what one would you say is the most patri- patriotic? Um, okay. Maguire? No. Nah. Brother, I'll be honest. Yes, it he looks- went 2016 euros with his brethren to watch the football. Yeah, he did. I don't think any of them are. I think Maguire is special. I think it's yeah. bad. He's the only one. Yeah, I think yeah. it's bad PR to rip it. 
Harry Kane. Harry Kane maybe. Do you know that's Henderson, also a good maybe. point? Henderson. Bro, maybe. Listen, Henderson. I think it's bad PR to rip it. I think it's bad but PR. Yeah, right now actually, to, they to get to MBAs though. They get MBAs, man. Because you know what it is? Rational being English, on. getting being English, it can't just apply when you want to play football. Now these Italians are in their yard eating pasta now. Raheem Sterling has got Aki and Saltfish on his plate right now. He's got a chef with him. He's got Aki and Saltfish on his plate right now. Mm-hmm. Like all the Italians are eating probably from the same guy. We're gonna do this, son. The Americans, even the Americans, fam, they're on this. We're together. Of the co- England don't really have that. The man are booing. It's bad PR, man. Like, it's, yeah, that's a, you know what, as well, yeah? That's true, as well. How Megan could you, can't how be could in the yard. Even, how could you even feel patriotic, yeah, as a player anyway, if your fans are booing you? Because anyway. you're black. This is, come on, man. How, how could I, even if I wanted to be, let's just say I was trying to be. Let's say this year I got picked. And I'm gonna give. I'm. Oh, I'm always gonna give my my best ability. I'm always gonna do that. But this time, I'm rapping England. Like Come proper. on, yeah. Let's have some of. And then Chuck. I'm gonna be is. real. Huh? Right here. Boo. Boo. Come on now. How, how do I? Chuck. Do you know how you after I? that? If you still bred in it, you're a big friend. Hundred. Per- I've never been a big friend. You are hundred percent begging the English public to love you. If you're still trying to fight and kneel and. It's washed, fam. You, you man, know, back to you, man just want to be washed. a part of it because really, it's like the high, it's supposed to be a high level of football and it's like the world is watching. But if other Jamaica that, were top five other in the than world. Other than that, there's not, it's not a rep in your country oh. thing really, unless you're a Maguire. Yeah. In terms think of, of patriotism though, I think they're probably as patri- patriotic as the French. I don't think the French hmm. are that patriot English. I don't nah, think the French they, are that patriotic. I think it's just the fact that they probably have the best squad and it's man them. You know Most why, of them. Do you know why he's got a point? Are just the black dons. How many? Fr- how many? You might. You'll be able to tell me. Yeah. Yeah. How many of the French are French? Are French. But how many? They're not African. But how many of the Germans are German? I think it's in the in the first. Team. We can go for them. How many of the English are English? How many of the Americans are American? Sweet. So how many trophies have you seen England win? <laughs> how many trophies have you seen Germany win? How many trophies have you seen France win? That's why sometimes it might it's look... either going to be extreme ability or I'm just passionate about my country. That's the point I'm making. And none of them apply to England. It might come it's yard. Abilities here now. Nah, the, the, the abilities here now. It's not. I mean, forget, like, I'm not even talking about the ability. Yeah. It's I'm not just, here. The point that you mentioned about like. <laughs> The French being pa- patriotic, mm. yeah. I think you might have a point with that. I think there's yeah, only because... about three men in that in that first team that's French, which is probably the goalkeeper, Loris, but Pavard, forget, but and that's Luka that, that's Who that. Who cares? Like, forget Hernandez. about whether they are from there or not. Rubio, yeah. But that's the because I don't want that to. I don't want this to get lost. Mm. Forget that because you don't have to be from there like that. No, but you could still be like on a vibe of I'm repping. This is, mm. you know what I'm saying? And then you can say what you're saying, but Fra- France, without going into too much detail, they've got a, a school of excellence, which has been there and has produced talents of Anelka, Thierry Henry, Trezeguet. So hear my point. If, and this is from 1998. Mm-hmm. 98. So even if you don't want to feel black, you're going to walk through a corridor which has got beer black faces. In 1998, Ian Wright didn't even make the World Cup squad after helping him get to the World Cup. Yep. So what I'm giving you is a comparison, a stark comparison of how you take black people and you really mind control them. That's France. That is a, it's amazing what they've done. They've made them really feel like they got a home there and they're, they're dumb enough to believe it. They're booing, man, Caleb. Saka, Saka said the only reason why I couldn't go back to Nigeria in an article is because I just don't really feel that at home there. Mm. I mean, that's it. But you're not even pushing the booing it, aside, yeah? You know, like when they were talking about the golden, or when they talk about the golden years of English football and whatnot, not the golden, but you know, like with the the, um, the Steven Gerrard era and all of that, where you had all of these like players with great individual ability, yeah? But it was well known that they just didn't play well because they loved their club more than they're like, playing for their country. That says that. That says a lot within itself, anyway. No, nah, man. Again, that narrative is horrible. Do you know who was alive when they were had that team? Who? Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Rivaldo. This country has good press. They will make you believe right. that these men are the greatest man alive. And I'm just okay. saying, they just you good just got to watch more football to. They realize just weren't good enough. They're not good enough, man. It doesn't mean mm-hmm. that you're not good. You're just not good enough. Manifestation thing, man. It's coming home. I want a carnival. <laughs> That's all. It's calm in yard. That's all. If it comes home, we all party, man. 100%. Where are you going? I reckon something. Where are you going when it comes home? Where am I going? I'm outside. Listen, I'm out. I'll be honest with you. I want Eng- I'd love England to win it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we all, yeah but there's, there's a difference between them wanting to win it and them winning it. But I'd love them to win it purely because 
the country is a vibe when England is in the thing. Mm. Because we like the vibes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Bro. But other than that, I mean, that's other the reason that, why I want a man that. in there. It, I like England in the summer when, I like England when it's summertime and England's playing in the thing. Other than that, France, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> I want England to win, do you know why? Maybe the boost stop. Maybe the boost stop, that'd be nice. If the boost stop, they win, you can't boo them after that. I think it will get worse. Is it? I think so. Ross, so if they win, they'll boo more. Yeah, they'll, they'll still boo the knee again. They'll boo it even more. Because yeah, they'll feel you, you know what, the English fans- uh, We'll that, you, we that, you again. You know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they'll feel even more entitled to do that because they'll feel like it was our support that put you through that, it? and we gave you a slice of this. It's so the we're first gonna, time we've we're letting you know how we feel about it even more. If England got kicked, if England did shit in it, and there was a conversation about the boo and the lack of support in mm-hmm. in in that, then maybe the cheers would like the next time around there'd be a hell of more cheers yeah if they got knocked you know out what? group stages and they said oh it's because the boos and the, the support wasn't there then the fans might be like oh you know what but if they boo and we win oh the boos will continue but you know what? I'm booing even more yeah. <laughs> do you know what's crazy to me though this is what I think the craziest thing is Go on. all the other countries England have gone to and there's been booing they have crucified the country where you believe you can't go there because it's mad racist I know and it happens over here man again MBEs if you ask me genuinely as a Rasta man, the man I wash from, but it's up to everyone to do what they want to do. But honestly, it's washed. It's proper washed. Are some of the England players there not like, obviously if you get the ability, yeah. Do they want to do it for, for clout? Probably. It's a clout thing. It's and like, oh, I... It back. He circled it Get back. what I'm it's saying? A mm. <laughs> it's, it's a clout thing. thing. So it's a clout thing. Certain man are And because they're going to get money from it, they're going to get more status, opportunity, be in certain rooms. It's a clout thing. I don't understand why man want that clout. Ask oh, Skepta. He rejected it. Just throwing it out there. Well, so is there like a good, trophies, is there a, there's a decent clout then? Is there a good clout, a bad clout and a decent clout? Uh, when, you, when you join tournaments like that, you get bigger brand deals and, um, what's the word? Bonuses. So. Yeah. That ain't a clout. That's just you really good at your job. And this True. is the, I just think clout, yeah, it's to promo- a certain extent, it's promotion, is a, isn't it? Yeah, clout's a whole thing, fam. Yeah, no, nah, I hear that. And sometimes I'm a whole. All right. Well, yeah, man. Fucking, what is one thing that people need to know about? <laughs> this boy has dropped the tape. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, it's hard. We yeah. just need to up upstairs um, in Skit's capsule collection office. And yeah. It's seven songs, it's 20 minutes, it's decent, man. I'm... It's What's not it decent, called? bro. It's called Shave My Head. It's not decent, it's bro. Sh- shave My Head or Shake My Head? Did you say shave? You're nasty. It's decent, but Afrocom. It's called Shake My Head, SMH. Okay. Pretty tight, Jordy. Oh, okay. So, He's not talking okay. about his bridging that had no hair. It's Marks. I'm like, Jordy, to that today. <laughs> he said it's, decent, it's not Marks' tape. <laughs> this is my tape. This is Jordy. Seven songs, 20 minutes is decent, but I'm biased, so you tell me. All right, I'm going to listen to that today. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, What have you got, Poet? Jordy. What have you got, Chucky? Now, wait, you can't both have the same thing. I, he's, I don't know. So, okay, no, you can't have your own thing then. What have you got? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, then. I'll give you a I'll give you a little um, time to think about. All right, it. Do you know what? I'll yeah. say something different then. Go on. Uh, go check out my real third night interview in one poll. Yes. Really, really good watch. Have Honorable a good talk with him. Um, and the Nar Ranger one as well. See. He's not a bad guy. Mm-hmm. He just makes bad decisions. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I like. I like. I'm gonna watch that because I like um, listening to him speak. Still, he's an interesting guy. Still. It was dope, fam. Um, I got a tune. Still, mm. this guy, his name is called Rashawn Power. That was my one. And he's got a song called Burn in the Sky. That one. Oh. Mm. Go Very and listen guy. to that and thank me later. Go go listen to that and thank me later. And watch oh. your sunset while you listen to it. Oh, Beautiful. absolute sense. It makes me want to... Oh, well, Rashawn, I got a bone to pick with you. If you ever take my phone again and make me fucking follow you on Spotify... <laughs> I'll shave your hair fam you will show you a real burning in the sky <laughs> your buck side and that goes for anyone don't take my phone and make me follow you on Spotify it's my choice Callum what you got? no <laughs> I didn't think that was our answer I would have said that I'm the only one that's allowed to answer oh, okay. that come on white power have you got Drew got one? Oh. burning the one sky was my one it's me man oh, was it, yeah? wearing pink blue, um, nothing underneath I see big up to the person who sent me this by the way I've just opened this now where is it? Oh, it's shiny. Like a, um, it's got Peter on it. Jeez. Oh, oh blessings. That's yeah, a blessing. Love, love. You didn't leave who you sent it to me. But yeah, That's love. Beautiful. I appreciate that still. 
Yeah, man. That's great. That's cold. Really um, nice. It's so sunny outside, man. What are you doing? Yeah, man, we're outside. <laughs> sunny outside. <laughs> outside. Thanks for listening, everyone, yeah? Nice.